Today we got a four-way comparison. We got the Secret Lab Titan 2020 versus the 2022 versus the IKEA Matchbell versus the IKEA Marcus. So let's go ahead and take it out. Welcome to Mike Text It Out. I'm Mike and I'm back for another comparison. That pun sucks. Oh, come on. I've only said it like twice so far. So I had previous videos back in 2021 with some chair comparisons, but nothing last year because we didn't get anything new. But recently my husband got this Secret Lab Titan XL 2022. And now that all these other chairs are over a year old, I thought it'd be interesting to kind of do a follow up and see how they've held up as well as tell you about this new chair and see if any of my opinions changed on the other ones that I've already talked about. Now I'm gonna start with the changes with the Titan 2022 versus the 2020, since it's the newest of all the chairs and I haven't covered it before. This Titan has the same excellent build quality and metal legs like the 2020, but it has magnetically attached armrest and headrest. The lumbar support is also more adjustable because you can adjust it in and out as well as up and down, whereas the Titan model that I use just goes in and out. Other than that though, both chairs feature the 40 armrest that swivel in and out, adjust up and down, and go backwards or forwards. So you can pretty much adjust them the way that you want to. They did change the size of the Titans for 2022. So I got the regular Titan 2020 because it supports up to 290 pounds, whereas the 2022, the regular one only supports up to 220, which is why we have the XL version of this one. Personally with my Titan, I've had issues with the armrest starting to tear around the inner seam. Secret Lab replaced the left one for me for free last year as a courtesy, but recently the right one has started doing the same thing. This type of damage is not covered under warranty, but it's weird because I don't know how it happened. I pretty much sit in this chair all day with gym shorts on and a t-shirt and I make sure that the dogs don't jump on the chair or anything like that. It's not a huge deal, but it's worth noting. Knowing this now, I would probably go with the 2022 just because of how much easier it is to replace the armrest. They both also have the same recline lever that I like because you can just recline the back of it and it doesn't push up the bottom of the chair. But if you want to lean the base back, you can as well as lock it in place. And as far as my chair, the Titan 2020, it's held up extremely well except for the armrest. And it's just as comfortable as when I got it over a year ago. Although there are a few more wrinkles in the faux leather, the cushion is just as sturdy and as comfortable as day one, to be honest. I work from home, so I'm in this chair at least 40 hours a week, plus just hanging out in my office after work. So I probably average at least 60 hours a week or more in this chair. And I've had no back or hip pain at all since I've started using it. Now I personally chose a faux leather finish because I was afraid I would spill things on the chair and I wanted something that wouldn't stain easily. And yeah, I was right. I spilled a bunch of food and drinks on this chair. And as long as I've wiped them off quickly, it's been fine. My husband went with the cloth material, so I wish him the best of luck with his chair. Now, when it comes to my IKEA chairs, the Secret Lab did replace the Marcus for me, but I still have it around in my office and I use it pretty regularly. The Marcus also has great build quality. It has the metal base like the Secret Lab chairs. And one thing I love about both of the IKEA chairs is the breathable back. My Secret Lab chair with the faux leather can get very hot during the summer and since the back is so large, I don't really feel the fan at all in my room when it's on. And my biggest issue with the Marcus has to be the no D armrest where they wrap around and connect, meaning you have to sit straight in the chair. There's no folding your legs or anything like that. I personally like to fold my legs sometimes when I sit and move around and the metal really digs into your thighs. Would have been better if they covered the metal with some kind of cushion, but you can also adjust the height and recline but it's one of those things where you can only lean back and the base goes back as well. Like a typical office chair, there's also no adjustment options for the back at all. So what you see is what you get. And if your head doesn't happen to make it to the headrest, then too bad. Now I still use this chair for a few things. For one, I usually use it for recording videos because it's a lot easier to move and fit in tight spaces, which I can't say about my Titan. Also, if I have to take a shower and I'm still wet and I don't want to risk messing up my Titan, 
I use this chair. While I no longer sit in this chair all the time, I probably use it three to four times a week for a couple of hours or so. So maybe for around eight hours a week. And it was previously used by my husband to work full time for about six months and then me full time for about two months before I got the Titan. And it's held up great. It's still a comfortable chair aside from the armrest. And to be honest, it's almost as comfortable as my Titan. And even the cushion, although it's pretty thin, has held up very well on it. And last but not least, it's time for the match build. This was the one that most recently got replaced by the Secret Lab 2022. My husband used this chair daily for over a year and it definitely has the most wear out of the three chairs that we've had for over a year now. Now all of these chairs were not used for the same amount of time on a daily basis, but even after three months, I noticed that it was already in worse condition than the match spell, which we had used on a daily basis for about six months at that point. Mainly the material on the cushion started to peel to the point where he ended up buying a cover for it on Amazon to put over it and yeah, it looks pretty bad. The cushion may be user error as my husband would often sit in the chair after showering. Now I do the same thing with the Marcus, but the material hasn't started to peel at all. And it seems like it might be a little bit thicker. So that might be something to consider as well if you are gonna be using this on a daily basis. It's still overall in good condition. I just feel like the Marcus has held up better. The armrests feel like they just have a bit more play, which makes sense because they're plastic and the chair overall has a bit more wobble to it. But what I like about it is it does have the open armrest that can be adjusted back and forward as well as up and down. And it has a metal base as well, which is a plus. It also has a high adjustable headrest. It has an open mesh back that I really like. And of course you can raise and lower the chair and reclining is again the same as any other office chair, except it's the only chair out of the four without the dual lever system. It uses a one lever system usually found in cheaper chairs where you push it up to raise or lower the chair. You pull it out to recline back and then you push it back into lock the position. Also with the white version of this, the mesh on the back of the chair does stain and it does not come clean super easy. As long as you don't spill anything on it, major is not too noticeable it's still overall a great chair we're going to keep it around for our arcade downstairs now for the breakdown on which ones i would recommend it really depends on your need for a chair while the ikea chairs have some lumbar support you can't adjust it so if you really need something with adjustability i would go with a secret lab chair now knowing the issue that i have with the armrest and having to unscrew it and replace it and go through that whole process i would go with the 2022 at this point both models feel very similar, but having the magnetic armrest and the additional lumbar adjustments just make it a little better. Also, it seems like Secret Lab is finally starting to run out of the 2020 Titans. So the 2022 might just be the only option if you're looking now, depending on what you want. With my Titan holding up so well after more than a year of constant use, I have no doubt that the 2022 will hold up just as well for years to come. Now, if you don't care about that stuff and you can fit comfortably in this chair, AKA the armrests and the adjustability don't bother you, then I'd say overall for the price, the Marcus is probably the best purchase. It lacks almost any adjustability, but the build quality is better than the Match Bell. The Match Bell is still a good option in the two to $300 price range, but I would recommend getting a cushion cover for it, especially if you plan on using it on a daily basis. Also, I feel like due to the small wobble that it's developed, it's a little less comfortable long-term than any of the other chairs. When it was new, I felt like it was on par with the Marcus, but now I feel like the Marcus is a little bit more comfortable. Overall, if you have the budget, I think a Secret Lab chair is worth it for the comfort and the adjustability. But if you are looking at something from Ikea, both of these chairs are great options for around 300 bucks. Also, I'm pretty sure these actually went up in price since the last videos I made on them. But I would still recommend the Marcus if you can deal with its shortcomings over the match bell. But why don't you let me know what kind of chair you're rocking in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, then make sure to tell a friend, tell a coworker, like, share, and subscribe, and hit that bell notification to get notified when I drop a video or a live stream. And always do at least two things at the same time. Peace.